All right, today we got the 440R loader here on the uh, uh, 466R on the farm. And uh, we're going to go out and, you know, we've got a pretty long gravel driveway here. I'll walk over here and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, and on this driveway, the, the weeds always tend to kind of encroach. And, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of all that Roundup. I, I really don't like eating it on the farm, so to speak. So, oh, I got about a quarter of a mile that way. And as you can see, about a quarter of a mile this way. And see how it closes in? There's just not a lot of traffic on it. The weeds like to come in. I try to mow that back um, every year. But um, sometimes the best thing to do is just kill it off. Now, normally I like to buy, you know, 50-gallon drums, if I can, of 20% vinegar or 30% vinegar. That works the best. But vinegar right now, because the pickling season is quite available in the small tubs, so I'm going to use it in the uh, little tubs. <laughs> I got about 100 gallons of it here, and we're going to put it on that driveway and just burn those weeds today. And we're going to use the, the John Deere tank sprayer. hooks up real well on the quick hitch. Um, it's got, you know, three spraying zones. Probably won't be using all the spraying zones, but um, I'll make it work. It's got a nice pump on it. And again, we're just going to dump that vinegar right in. I'm just going to start grabbing some of these. Daughter's opening them up here, and we just pour her in straight. And I am going to add some salt to this. And I'm going to add uh, a little bit of either some palm oil, dish soap, or some Dawn to get it to kind of stick more. And uh, we're going to go out and spray some weeds today on the farm. And I wouldn't say necessarily um, organically, but at least naturally kill the weeds without dealing with Roundup. So this is how we do it on the farm. Again, like I said, normally I wouldn't buy 100 of these suckers. Um, but, you know, they were on a pallet. It was easy to load up into the pickup um, with my neighbor and then get over here. So it works out pretty good. But about 100 of these, when you buy it in bulk, um, it costs about 200 bucks. So to go spray this driveway cost me um, probably just a hair over 200 bucks with the salt that I'll put in it. And I'll show you the salt going in in a bit. Um, I feel that's a pretty fair price considering what people pay for Roundup and so forth. So I actually got some uh, herbicide soap. I think I'm going to use that instead of uh, uh, Dawn or palm oil um, as my surfactant. So I got this from Gardens Alive a while back and I'm going to put this in and uh, that'll be my surfactant for this batch and uh, based on the math for about 75 to 100 gallons it should take the whole bottle. So I'm going to put that soap in there and that should be a good surfactant for me. And then we're going to go out and spray some weeds. So we hit the long driveway and we start spraying. I normally can do it with one boom out and then the center. Let's see if I can show you the center from the other side. So see the one over there spraying. I keep the one boom in. Basically, I just go down and back. Pretty much done. stuff from Gardens Alive. Pressure wise, I'm running about 70 on the gauge. And we're coating the driveway all the way down. As you can see, I got a little driveway ways to go each time. I'd say it's probably a half mile each direction. I'll post my recipe in the uh, comment section so you guys can see it. But like I said, it's not real hard. If you want to kill even more vigorously, just use a stronger vinegar. I 
pinch of weed on occasion. One thing nice about the boom, it'll just pull back when he hits a tree like that. Come forward again. The John Deere 110 gallon spray or 120 gallon, whatever this is, works really pretty nice. Got some thicket and thorns in here. So it occasionally gets hooked up and nose pretty good. But again, it'll pop right through them. I like getting these field edges. It really just kind of cleans it up by getting it sprayed. It keeps it from encroaching on the driveway so much. see as we come up along this weed edge that I sprayed along this gate edge about a week ago and you can see how it's killed it along this gate edge just burned it great and that's what it'll do all the way down folks this is how we naturally kill weeds around our farm I hope it works for you thanks for watching please like and subscribe as we keep using our sprayer and keep putting down the vinegar